Hello everyone, it's Alexa at Anton. Today, I am going to show you how to use our group function to create your own classroom and how to assign homework by setting pins. Let's begin with creating groups. You can see that I'm already logged in. I have just created a brand new teacher account and I'm ready to make my first group. I am in the subjects tab, but I'm going to switch over to the groups tab now. When your account is new and you have never made a group, this is the screen you will see. Today, we are going to create a new group, not the family group. So we can go ahead and select this option. Here, I can enter my classroom name. I am going to choose the purple puffs. This can be changed at any time. Next, I select continue. The next screen gives me the option to find my school. For parents, you can simply select no. For teachers, this is also not necessary, but can be helpful in some instances later on. For now, I will also choose no. The next question asks whether I would like to create this group. Yes, I would. I select Create. Now it is time to start adding students. To add students, find the Members tab right under the group name in the center. Right now, I am the only member of this group and you can see that my name appears under Teachers. To add students, find the Add New button on the top right-hand side next to the Print button and select it. I can now add a student or teacher. We will ignore the school directory button for now. I select student instead. On the top, you can see prepare student code. If you remember from making your own account, you also received an eight digit code. We are now creating accounts for your students and each student will be assigned a code that they can use to log in. For now, let's assume you will want to create a classroom with more than one student. I will check create multiple students. Now I will enter my first student's name. You can use first names or nicknames, up to you. I am going to enter a few names here. After entering a name, I select Create. After you select Create, a banner at the top of the screen lets you know that you were successful and says, you have prepared a login code for, and then the student's name. Let's make a few. I'm gonna choose Benjamin, Ethan, Isabella, and Jackson to start with. Okay, I have added all the names I want. I select back and can now see all the names that I just entered here in the members tab of my group page. The avatars are currently gray and say prepared. This means that the students can now access their newly created accounts with a login code that you just prepared. To access these login codes, navigate back up to the right hand corner and this time select print. A page is generated with all the accounts that I just prepared. Each child has their own QR code and login code both of which can be used to log in to their new account for the first time. If your student has a device which allows them to scan QR codes, they can do this now and be led directly to the app and the group. Alternatively, each of your students can enter the eight digit login code on top here. Let's see what this looks like from your student's perspective if they were to enter the eight digit code. I am going to create a brand new student account with a generated code. Let's use Benjamin's code. I am at the start screen that students will see when creating a new account. I will select login with code email. This is where students can enter the eight digit code prepared in my teacher account. I then choose continue. Benjamin is immediately welcomed into the new group and his name and the name of the group appear so he can double check he received the correct code. He would then select continue. The student then chooses a random avatar and selects start now. Benjamin is taken right to the group page, which looks very similar to the teacher group page. Teachers have access to the group settings, while students can only access the content and members. Right now, there is nothing pinned or no homework has been assigned yet. Let's switch back to the teacher account and see what happened. Here, I'm in my new teacher account again. I am in my group starting page in the members tab. I can see now that Benjamin has logged in and created his first avatar. You can also see that he was recently active. Now, Ethan, Isabel, and Jackson need to enter their eight digit codes or scan the QR code to activate their accounts and join the group. It is also possible to add students with existing accounts. Let's pretend that Jackson already has an Anton account. From his homepage, toggle to the group tab and select join group with code. The eight digit code generated by you in the teacher account can be entered here. Now, Jackson has entered the group with his own account. And that's how you create a group. 
Now that you have created your first group or classroom, you can start assigning homework or, in Anton's speech, pin some exercises. To pin exercises, navigate to the Subjects tab. Then, select Subjects Search right underneath. This pulls up the side panel where you can choose from any of our many subjects. I am going to start with English Language Arts and then choose Grade 4. I would like my students to work on their synonyms and antonyms. To assign these exercises, I select the topic, which takes me to the topic page and shows all the levels. Here on top, you can see the button Create Pin with a thumbtack. I select this button, which creates this pop-up screen. I select the group that I would like this exercise to be assigned to. If you have multiple groups, you can choose any from this screen. I can then decide when I would like to have this exercise due. I will choose next week by selecting the left side of the calendar. I can now select Create Pin on the bottom and assign the exercise to my group. You know you were successful when you look at the pin button here and can see the thumbtack with a plus one pin showing. So, what will your students see? Let's switch back to Benjamin's account and look. From Benjamin's account, I can navigate to the group home screen. Voila! The exercise that I just pinned appears in his content tab in the Purple Puff group. He can also see clearly that it will be due next week. Instead of navigating through the subjects, however, Benjamin can now just select the exercise and be led directly to the proper exercises and start playing the first level right away. Oof, that was a long one, but I hope that it has been helpful and I hope to see you back.